in this lesson we will learn how to put text within a grid view so as we have been doing in our previous lessons we have designed our grid view in our xml and we have given it all the standard default values that we have been giving it so far and then we go to our main activity and what will we do in our main activity obviously the first thing we need to do is we need to define our grid view so grid view and let's call it say grid view now once we do that what's the next step we will do the next step we will do is we will say grid view is equal to grid view find view by id r dot id dot grid view and now that we have created our grid view we need to use text here so how will we use text here the first thing we will do is we will create another new class so new java class like we created for a image adapter let's call this class as text adapter and what is its base class its base class will be base adapter and with that we have created this class text adapter and what do we need to do we will go to generate and all the implement methods we will just generate out of it so once we have generated all the implement methods let's start making our modifications so grid view we have created now notice in the activity.xml activity main.xml we have not specified the height or the width of the text views so we will set them up as the first thing so the first thing we will do now is we will say grid view dot set column width and say let us get the column width as say 50 so we have set the column width as 50 and what will we do we will say grid view dot set adapter view set adapter new text adapter and we will pass this to it so this is exactly what we have been doing in the image adapter but we used a text adapter here so now when we pass this to it we just need to define the constructor so first let's define context say my context so it always needs the context which was provided in the constructor and we will just add the constructor so public text adapter and it will take a context say context and my context will be set equal to context so we have got the context value in the constructor let's say we want to it to show the numbers from 0 to 99 so how many numbers are there 100 so get count in this case will become say 100 what will be get item so what do we want to show in the case of an item is say we want to show the number as hash 0 hash 1 hash 2 till hash 99 so what will we return let's say we will say hash plus i so that will give us the value that we are looking for and then finally we will get to our view so what will we do in our view so the first thing we need to do in our view is create a text view so text view and let's say call it tv is equal to new text view and what will it use it will use my context so given the context we will be able to create the text view now what do we need to do in the text view we need to set its text or value so set text and what will we set the text as we will like we set said we want it to print hash plus the number so hash plus i so we have set the text and we will set the size of it so set layout params and we, here we will do new grid view dot layout params and what are the params we will give 
we will give grid view dot auto fit so it will take it from the auto fit so grid view dot auto fit and say we want it to be say 50 again so one is to one ratios and now it will return the text view so now that once we have returned the text view we should be able to now run it so let us now compile our code and see how this will run so the build will happen now and then the as usual the apk gets installed and run so it's installing the apks launching the activities and let us see what do we see here so as we expected we are seeing the numbers hash 0 hash 1 hash 2 till so we will continue to see it till we are getting it now what do we want more to do here suppose what we want is that the text view should have a larger size so the text should be of a larger size so let us do that so how do we do it we will say tv dot set text size and let's say we set the text size as say 24 so now let us run it so now what should happen that our text size should become much bigger so as we run it let us see what the output looks like and as we expected the text size has become much much bigger let us do one more thing let us set the background color so that it becomes slightly better and more distinct to look at so we will use set background color and it will take a color so how do we form a color we will say color dot rgb which are the red green blue values so suppose we want a bluish tinge here so let me give some values say 120 120 240 and we will just import color so we have created and set a color to it now let us run it and see what happens in this case now it should get a bluish color to it so let us see as the build happens and the apk comes up so now we have set the text background color so so these are our text views here with the numbers in them and we had given the let's go back and look at the main activity.xml so we had given horizontal spacing and vertical spacing because we have not set the color in the spacings so how do we see it so let's take it here so we are seeing those spacings in between so these are the spacings in between so let us change it let's say we want to reduce the spacings to say 3 dp so we should now see a much closer knit and the spacing should go down so let the build happen and run in this case and let's see what do we get here so as we expected the spacing has gone down so this is how the spacing happens 